What is the future for this new Cleveland Cavaliers team? I've been in the hills, fucking superstars, feeling like a pop star. Drinking any bad bitches, jumping in the pool, and I ain't got on no bra. Get the front of back, pulling on the tracks, and now she screaming out, no more. They like savage, why you got a 12 car garage, and you only got six cars? Before the NBA trade deadline, the Cleveland Cavaliers looked pathetic. They lost a lot of games in January, and they were not looking like a championship team, not even a playoff team. And people were saying the Cleveland Cavaliers would probably lose in the first round, and I don't blame them. But this trade deadline, the Cleveland Cavaliers have acquired young talent for the future when LeBron James leaves. Yo, what it do, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about this new Cavaliers team and how they improved. The Cleveland Cavaliers have more youth players with Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr., Rodney Hood. And George Hill's not young, but he's a good guy to be around. He's a good defensive point guard. And I think the Cavs made some good changes. Kobe Altman, I have to give some credit to Kobe Altman. He's been doing a, a great job with this Cavs team. The Cavs traded, I have it up on screen right now, the Cavs traded Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade, and Channing Fry. Iman Shumper, I think they put in a pick. It probably ain't on screen, but I know they threw in a their own first round pick. Not the Brooklyn Nets pick, but their own first round pick. I like this new Cleveland Cavaliers team. They get younger. They got all that locker room mess out the way. They got the old heads like Dwayne Wade and Channing Fry out of there and yeah. Chasm this off season not the offseason, but this free agency was a W for them. They really won this um, trade deadline. They got Isaiah Thomas out of there that was unperforming, not having a great year on defense or offense. He was not as good this year as last year because I think Brad Stevens, he was a great coach, and he hid, he hid Isaiah Thomas on defense. And Isaiah Thomas has not been living to up to expectations. And the Cavs have been losing games. And I just like this new talent that the Cavs, Cavaliers have now with Larry Nance Jr. He can get you some poster dunks. He posted on um, Kevin Durant, I remember, when they played the Warriors. You got Jordan Clarkson that can give you buckets off the bench or starting. I wonder if they're going to start Jordan Clarkson or not. Um, Rodney Hood, he he can give you at least twenty a night. He can give you thirty maybe, cause he was he was balling on the Utah Jazz. But the Utah Jazz have a new, they have the your franchise player and Donovan Mitchell now. And we got George George Hill that it will be a better point guard than Isaiah Thomas defensively. I know that Cavs got some wing defenders slash players that can guard like Jordan Clarkson. He's not that bad of a defender. Lear Nance can defend. Rodney Hood can defend. And George Hill can defend. Cleveland Cavaliers got younger. And they still managed to keep their pick that they got and acquired. I'm I'm so surprised that they, they managed to keep that pick. They still have it. The Brooklyn Nets pick. And the Cleveland Cavaliers are ready for LeBron's absence. The Cleveland Cavaliers won this trade, and they're now the favorites to come out the East. Before, they were not the favorites to come out the East. Can they beat the Warriors? You never know. You never know. But I just like this new Cavaliers team. They are prepared for LeBron's absence, and he will not be leaving the Cavs high and dry like he did in 2010. I just like this new Cavaliers team, youth players, not the old heads and unperforming. Like Jake Crowder, he was not doing great on the Cavaliers. He did not, he did not perform up to expectations. Jake Crowder, eh. 
Jay Crowder was supposed to come in and try to defend Kevin Durant, but he did not do that. Dwayne Wade, he played okay, but I think he was just too much in the locker room. He was yapping and stuff. But let me get back to Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder stepped over Kevin Love. I remember that. When they played the Spurs, he stepped over Kevin Love. That was pathetic. I can't believe he did that. And I'm just happy to see Dwayne Wade back in Miami, where he belongs, his family. Um, Yeah, I just like what the Cavs got back in this trade. Larry Nance is very happy. Um, Sources say that he was in tears. So he was that happy to be in Cleveland. His dad played for the Cavaliers, and I think it was in like 1990s or 80s, whatever. His dad played for the Cavs, and he's happy to um, play for his hometown team, the team that he watched when he was a kid and watched LeBron when he was a kid. I, I think this Cavaliers team will succeed. And they have a future without LeBron James because before that, they had nothing. They had nothing. They had, I don't know what they was going to do. When LeBron left, I don't know. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I am out. Peace.